Just outside of Columbus, Ohio, corn and soybean fields run as far as the eye can see. It's just about spring planting time for the 100 Ohio State graduate students doing research on this working farm. I just remoted in through the network and I can now see the screen of that tractor. Say we're broken down in the field, he can um, troubleshoot and show me where on the monitor to click. I can be remotely connected anywhere in the world and I can help him through whatever issues he's having. These 2,000 acres make up Ohio State's Molly Karen Agricultural Center. Students from the College of Food and Agriculture work alongside computer science students researching ways technology and AI can help farmers. We want to make our farmers um, more sustainable. We want to ensure that they're using the minimal amount of inputs um, to produce the food that uh, all of us consume, and AI is going to drive a lot of these processes in the future. The future can feel daunting for an ancient, intuition-driven industry like farming, but practices are changing because they have to. Farmland is shrinking as development and transportation have taken precedence. Fewer young people are getting involved, seasonal workers are hard to find, and regulations and weather are changing. Farms have to be efficient, doing more with less. But I think AI is going to help farmers manage their resources a little bit more proactively. For example, a sprayer affixed with 18 cameras drives this cornfield scanning about 100 feet ahead. Currently, the, the problem is you'd fill up a sprayer and you'd spray um, the entire field. Um, so the goal is to spot spray. These students are working with AI that can delineate individual weeds from crops and target an herbicide spray only to those spots. But their research aims to take it further. With Intel products, Ohio State is working to develop edge AI software that can also recognize bug infestations and plant diseases that within a few seconds of interpreting it on camera, tell the farmer what type of spray should be used and then targets a small amount only to the crops that need it, preventing damaging runoff. We're seeing about a 50 to 75% reduction in herbicide, and that translates into water quality and a number of other things. So it's not only reducing the cost of food, it's not only increasing profitability for farmers, but it's making our farmers much more sustainable. Collaborating with Intel, Ohio State has set up a sophisticated system that real farms can replicate. Video from the sprayer streams through 18 microprocessors on board that turn the video into mass amounts of image data that's then stored on an Intel Xeon server right on the back of the equipment. Using Intel Core Ultra AI PCs, the students decipher the data right there in the field. So edge computing is very, very important for that scenario. So can I bring a pre-trained model, which I have trained uh, here on a laptop over there and do processing directly over there as much as possible. It's being tested with drones as well. The students set a flight path and the drone snaps images to find issues in the field. The Intel chips process the data, telling them what kind of treatments need it. So this is definitely the forefront of where AI is being used in agriculture. But farms are rural. Add in the trend of autonomous or driverless tractors combating labor shortages, and farmers will soon be juggling a lot of data. How does it get from the Xeon server in the field to the Intel Core Ultra AI PC that'll give actionable information? Traditional commercial cellular carriers might be able to handle moving some of it, but it'd be expensive. And service, if you even get it, can be spotty. That real life pain point is why all this research is being done via private 5G network, something smaller farms are banding together to invest in. A large farm can afford a private 4G, 5G network so that you're able to move all the data that the drone is collecting instantaneously to an edge device like a laptop, like an Intel Edge uh, PC. The end goal comes each September when thousands of farmers from across the United States come here to watch and learn how artificial intelligence inside Intel Xeon processors and Core Ultra AI PCs together with private 5G networks are changing the future for the better. Farmers control an appreciable amount of our land mass and what they do on their land can translate into what's happening with our water around us. And so 
It also translates into the safety of the food that we consume. Our farmers are great stewards of the land. They're doing a great job. But I think some of these technologies are gonna up the game in some respects and make the farmers even more effective and even better stewards of the land.